go guys, Kingdom Wall Music here, welcome back for another Genshin Impact video. So for today's video, that's so loud. No, we're not doing this event, but this event. Yeah, for this later. I mean, for this left. But before that, I would like to show you this. I got this. <laughs> the strong box. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm still not happy about this. Well, at least this one raises my crit rate. Uh, excuse me. Good enough. I just need to get that, get this up. So that's everything. I haven't level ninety yet. Should I do this? I'll do that in the future if I have the time. <laughs> this thing. Ayato gave that ten to me, which is kind of good. Now, without further ado, let's get right into it. I've done my commissions, but no, I'll do. I won't be doing it because if I do the event, then yeah. One second. Oh yeah, I'll be cutting the. I'll be cutting these videos in th into three parts. Yeah, because it it is three parts. Yeah. And. If you're probably wondering why it took long enough, why it took long for me to record this, because still analyzing how this event works. Yeah, I already done this in my main account. I'll be doing it again for you guys. I am uh, I'm, I'm observing on how the how the exam works. Still don't know how, but I hope I hope I pass the exams. You'll get what I'm saying in later. Oh, now, now then, let's meet up with Lisa. Lisa, oh, it's up. Why did I forget it's up here? Oh, there you are. Oh, it's you, cutie. To what do I owe the honor of your visit? Are you here to peruse the library? Or perhaps you're here to visit a certain someone. We're here to see you, of course. We were just passing through. <laughs> as considerate as ever. Alas, what rotten luck. You just so happen to have caught me in the middle of some important work. I'll have to treat you to afternoon tea some other time. Wait, you're actually busy? With work? That's not a sight you see every day. <laughs> You're right. The last time I was this consumed with research must have been way back at the academia. I haven't done this much thinking for a long time. It's rather exhausting. Are you writing a thesis? Are you working on a research project? <laughs> if you're that interested, why don't you join in on the fun? What do you say? Want to help me relive my days as a scholar? Uh, it's sure. not polite to pawn off your work on other people, you know. <laughs> Is that a no then? It will be quite the rare opportunity to work together, and you would, of course, be generously rewarded. But if you don't want to... I'm all, I'm all ears. Let's hear the details As first. you probably know, the Knights of Favonius have long conducted research on alchemy. But most of that research has been carried out in a laboratory setting. The public's knowledge of alchemy is quite minimal. Which means that up to this point, most of our research and discoveries have remained quite distant from people's daily lives. We've put a lot of mora into the research, but have very little to show for our efforts. Noting this disconnect, Jean decided to start an initiative where we'd share the fruits of our labor with the people. For now, that means introducing them to several different kinds of alchemical potions. As it happens, I already have some experience with this work. Even though I usually work at the library, I have lent my support in the past to the management of the Knight's Potion Supply. Oh, so you are a witch. Potioneering was also one of my academic specializations back in the day. So Jean thought I was the best person for the job. But to create potions practical enough to support the daily needs of the people, a lot of adjustments had to be made to the ingredients we use. And the overall alchemical process also needed to be simplified. All in all, what started as a relatively simple research project soon evolved into something exceedingly complicated. So, are you asking us to help you with your research? Cause, uh, you're not exactly talking to two alchemy experts over here. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. I've already thought of the perfect job for you two. 
Alchemical practices are becoming more and more advanced, but there's still a disconnect between our research and the general public. What we really need is to collect feedback from the people. Otherwise, we won't truly know if we're satisfying their needs. But if we want to conduct research and collect feedback at the same time, we need to go about things in a more efficient way. So, I thought the best way to do that would be to open up a potion shop. Uh -huh. That way, we could continue to handle the alchemy side of things while also being able to interface with the public and understand their needs. Oh, it's like killing two pigeons with one stick! Idea, Lisa. Uh, it's killing pigeons. <laughs> well, of course. And who better to take on this job than one of the most accomplished among our ranks, the Traveler. Me. When I was at the Academia, students would often help out with each other's research projects. I'm sure my cuties wouldn't want to miss out on the opportunity to experience that sort of youthful enthusiasm for themselves. Yeah, you make it sound nice and all, but Paimon still thinks you're just looking for a way to pawn off your work. You can just think of it as a favor for Lisa. I'm also down for a bit of a challenge. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. When all our work is done, I will personally see to it that you're generously rewarded. All of the initial preparations have been made, so let's head to the shop. We'll finish our discussion after we get there. Yeah. Now let's go. Oh, my resin is 40. Hang on a second. There you go. I just moved it a bit. I mean, I, I just moved the monitor a bit. Hang on a second. Oh my god, crystal flies again. Uh, I hate it. I hate it when I farm crystal flies. Look, because it's some special circles, is I don't know. I haven't read it all. Look at the hell, Cheryl. <laughs> <sighs> this is the shop. Wow. Wow, looks like you've made a lot of preparations already. Did you do this all by yourself? <laughs> it was a group effort. A whole bunch of knights helped out. Jean secured the initial funds to open the shop. Albedo and Sucrose provided the ingredients and equipment needed to brew the potions. And the logistics company is handling the provision of all future supplies. Now with your help, it's like an additional weight has been lifted off my shoulders. The knights have been busy spreading the word about our shop over the past few days. So, we should be ready to open once we've finished our final preparations. Okay. Let's not keep everyone waiting then. Why don't you take these ingredients and try your hand at brewing a potion? Okay, so it's like this. Yes, I get your account called Generous began. Use your ingredients and a little inspiration to make some fresh new foam. Yeah, I don't like that. Hold on, I forgot something. Lisa, what are you gonna say? All you need to do is add the ingredients into the cauldron, follow the steps provided, and you're good to go. All right, so I have a stand here or something. Oh my god, I hate this event. Oh. Um, am I doing it right? I think I'm not. You just have to uh, place them randomly, I think. Or not. I don't know. I don't know how this thing works. There, balanced. Check, I think. Let's see. Yeah, there. So there's like five of these. And there's still more over here when you uh, pass more levels. And then you, in this event, you have to balance at least two of them. Yeah, so you get a good outcome. There. Bare Bones Basic Bottle. 
A very plain and unassuming bottle with a comparatively flat shape that seems suitable for storing a large volume of liquid within. Mm, there you go. See? Thank you very much. We will initially have one chance to concoct, concoct a potion each operation cycle. By using more ingredients when concoct concocting a potion, you can gain more alchem alchemy level experience and potion ingredient experience. And there is a chance to create an even stronger potion. Make good of use. Make good use of your opportunities when concoct potions. I don't know if that's how do you read it, but oh, looks like you finished your potion. Now, all we need to do is put it on display for sale. Okay. Um, why don't you put your potion on that shelf over there? I will. Why are you so mad? Yeah, we have to enhance it. Oops. There, put it in there. There you go. Looks like we're done with all the prep work. Why don't we take a short break over there while we wait for customers to arrive? Where, why can't I? Oh, it's because I have to end the operation cycle yet. Lisa, what do you have to say? Oh, you're finished already. Guess it's time to start advertising the grand opening of our shop. I'll tell the knights to start putting up the announcements right away. Okay. Now let's end the cycle. The Parisian cycle. Financial report. Ooh. Pay close attention to the financial reports and see which courses are selling better that way. You can figure out just which promotion is the most in demand. Uh huh. Why are you judging me, playing on? Oh, it seems like day? everything is going well. You've already sold your first batch of potions. Not a bad start at all. As for what potions you should brew next, we'll need to consult the news from the market. That means staying up to date on the latest news and trends to try and anticipate people's needs. It's an essential skill when it comes to business. Uh, that sounds kind of hard. <laughs> Don't worry. I already took it upon myself to compile all the latest news on the market for you. Good under is coming up with new dishes with new hands of battling. The owner of Monster Flower Shop is looking to have their flower grow more lushly and extend the time to oh. What do you think? Have any ideas on the kinds of potions you should sell next? Go ahead and try to cultivate some herbs then. Bioalchemical processing can infuse herbs with different effects and properties. Using different herbs in the brewing process will, in turn, alter the effects of the potion. There's a whole bunch of combinations to try. All right, cutie, why don't you get started? Okay, Lisa. Go ahead and try to cultivate some herbs. <sighs> Try to somehow find this event that I was boring. Different combination areas of this have several that you have to have in the so that the various cycles here to make this mature and can be have to set once you complete the harvest the combination area with the battery cultivate. The previously selected ingredients, the cultivation product of ingredients will have to save and change it, blah 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 blah. While your alchemy level increases, you can allow more cultivatable ingredients. You will also be able to go to the ice for venue sports staff to expand funds and expand the cultivation area, allowing you to cultivate more ingredients at the same time. <sighs> I just read that in one breath. <laughs> I need the you. Seems like you've gotten the hang of the cultivation side of things. Ah, I should probably mention, a knight from the logistics company has arrived. She'll be the one handling the provision of all future supplies. You should go have a chat with her in a little bit. And after that, it'll be your time to shine. Wait, what about you? Yeah, shouldn't it be our time to shine? You know, the three of us? What about your role in all this? My role? <laughs> Naturally, it was to ensure my cuties had all the business and alchemy knowledge they needed to succeed. Okay, I'll be rooting for you. Good luck. So, meaning you're just gonna uh, watch. Hyman knew this would happen. 
just gonna watch us do the stuff you supposed to be your job. Right? What, you just sitting there? Have a question for me, cutie? Well, if there's anything else you want to ask, don't hesitate to come and find me. Okay. Freda. Greetings, honorary knight. Greetings, Paimon. My name is Freda. I'm a knight from the logistics company. It's such an honor to meet the famous traveler and her loyal attendant. Wow, Paimon's fame is really spreading across the land! <laughs> um, one small correction, though. Paimon's her companion, not her attendant. <sighs> My apologies. I guess I got a bit carried away after hearing all about your exploits. It's just like something out of a novel. You're practically legends at this point. I'm, I'm a bit jealous, actually. Oh, you want to be a legend as I'd well? I'd love to wander the land in search of adventure, like one of those knights you read about in stories. <sighs> Seems like a really fun life. Maybe you'll get the chance one day. It's not actually all fun and games. I bet. The knights in the stories are always running into all sorts of danger. Anyway, we've got some prep work to wrap up, right? My orders from the acting grandmaster are to support your business in any way that I can. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Purchase You're in luck. I just got a new batch of provisions. Please, take a look and see if anything catches your eye. All right. Now, let the magic begin. We'll be claiming that after we've done everything. Battling and growing. When placing ingredients, you can cross the potion to gain efficacy values of five different types, including constitution and so on. When you finish conco concocting a potion, the, efficient, uh, the efficacy value that is highest will determine the potion's type and grade. There are four different potion grades, beginner, intermediate, advanced and special and this is primary primary de determinant of the sale price the efficacy value that was not suffi sufficient to reach the next potion grade will be converted to a potion level of plus zero to plus ten increasing the sale price of the potion increasing the tuning rate to over 100 using a beautiful bottle or receiving a lucky bonus can also increase the potion level. Not this again. Okay, so I wanted... There you go. There's a thing, this thing. Dexterity. Then enhance it. Then place it here. Oh, I haven't read that. Whatever. I know what to do, guys. I'm just rushing it for you. Something from the shop. I need to buy a bottle. 
bottom. I will keep. This one's my favorite. Different grades also have 10 different characteristics, including the warm endur endurance and so on. If two or, or more the corresponding ingredients are added, the potion may also gain this characteristic. Initially, potions can have at, up to two characteristics. Great. Okay, now what? You. Uh. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I hate this event <laughs> But I can't What? Get this thing. There you go. Doesn't have to be a fully one. Strength potion. Alchemy level three. Then we add it to shot storage. Then enhance it. Never mind. Nothing to enhance here. Okay. Anything else? Great. Okay. Continue. <coughs> this one and then what else this one whatever why am I even think why am I even taking long to do this okay we've got new things now I've gotta use a lot of this wisdom thing There you go. Leave me. 
there you go. Yeah. Strength and wisdom. The two highest efficient efficacy values of what are of the same grade and reach a certain standard, a combination potion will be produced. A combination potion will have two types of efficacy, and though the sale price will not increase, it can more easily satisfy different market demands, increases sales volume. Alright. Now let us upgrade all of this. Get off the way, I have new orders in stock. Get off, dexterity. Alright, now let us end this cycle. Oh, okay. Speedy boar, decipher. So you want. Cipher. The wisdom. The wisdom. And the way something. Once you have mastered the advanced, advanced technique of second grade, this is an incredible version. Can you call the other argument? Okay, whatever. This too. I need you. No, no, no. I need you. Uh, I need a lot of you. There you go. in wisdom again oh it's the same sorry I made the same <laughs> I made the same thing the same yeah I already did that Michelle, the manager, says that we're now colleagues in business here in Marsa. We'd like to thank you for your frequent patroni patronage and loyalty as a gross customer of Good Hunter by offering you these funds to help support the expansion of your alchemy shop's operations and earn more revenue, allowing even, mo even more happy customers to reap the benefits the shop provides. Please accept these funds and we wish you every success. Great job, cuties. Jeans, uh, jeans, ass. Jeans asked her subordinates to provide us with additional funds for the girls. Alright. I buy the remaining.
make it again. How amusing. <sighs> now I'm just gonna make random things here. I mean random potions. There you go. Do you guys like that? The blue and the, the light blue and the light green and the blue thing. Constitution and dexterity. Thanks. Oh, I forgot to upgrade. to buy a new boxes. Oh, improved cauldron. I'll take the hard one. this way. There you go, we bought all the bottles. Well, shit. How am I supposed to... Huh. That works, I guess. But... Purple in the wings. Oh no. Uh, I guess that works. This works. There you go. Yeah, new ingredients, I guess. something new no <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> and this yay oh you and beta What's up? What's up? It's been a while. Yeah. Whoa, Beta and Yula! Wait, you two know each other? They actually look like each other. Didn't expect to see the two of you together. <laughs> well, we haven't known each other long, but we hit it off right away. Guess it was meant to be. I met Captain Beto at Dornman Port. She was here in Mondstadt to buy some supplies, and I offered to accompany her around the area. Wow, you were taking the initiative in making friends? Did I not hear that right? <clears throat> Given that the two of us just met, I wouldn't go so far as to call us friends just yet. 
I was just being hospitable, as is expected of a knight. Huh? Oh, I thought we were getting along pretty well. You're telling me you were just being polite? <laughs> oh, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I just thought that after my blunder earlier, you probably wouldn't want to be my friend. <laughs> Come on, it was just a little misunderstanding, that's all. Spill. You're still beating yourself up about that? Spill. Honestly, I'd forgotten all about it. Spill your misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? What happened? Well, a few days ago, after docking at Dornman Port, I thought I'd treat the crew to some time at the tavern to blow off some steam. While we were there, an argument broke out between a couple of drunk guys. Things looked like they were about to get physical, so I intervened to try and break it up. I tried talking to them, but they were in the mood for a fight, and my words fell on deaf ears. So I had to resort to uh, uh -huh. a more hands-on way of getting them to calm down. Uh -huh. Eula was patrolling the area while all this was going down, and when she walked in, oh, it wasn't a pretty sight. I should probably take it from here. Recently, we've intercepted a string of attempts to smuggle goods through Dornman Port, so we decided to step up our patrols in the area. On my rounds that day, I noticed a group of people I'd never seen before, and they were sailors. My suspicions were raised, so I asked our captain to show a valid entry permit for the port. Captain Beto said she didn't have the entry permit on her person and told me to check with the port authorities myself. I insisted that she should accompany me there and, well, you can see how things could get heated in a situation like that. <laughs> hey, you were, you were just doing your duty. It was my fault, really. I should have watched my tone, but I had a few too many and... It, anyway, it all worked out in the end. I took Eula back to my ship, showed her my documents, and that was that. Misunderstanding resolved. I felt bad, though, so I told her I'd treat her to a drink when we got back to the tavern. Once we got to talking, uh, we really hit it off. We sat there chatting until the tavern was about to close. <laughs> Captain Beto mentioned that she wanted to have a look around the city the next day. I was also planning to head back to headquarters to submit some paperwork, so we decided to go together. Ah, I meant to say earlier, drop the captain and just call me Beto. There's no need for formalities between friends. Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> Pardon me for being so formal. <laughs> anyway, as for why we're here, I heard about your shop when I got back to headquarters, and after discussing it with Beto, we decided to stop by and say hello. Oh, that's right. Plus, I'm curious to see what the deal is with these Mondstadt potions you've been brewing up. You, all ca you came all this way. Why don't you buy some to bring back with you? Uh, could do. Although, I don't have any health issues, and my ship's already stocked with everything I could need out on the ocean. Let me think. Oh, do you have a potion that helps with getting to sleep? Are you having trouble sleeping, Beto? No, not me. The minute my head hits the pillow, it lights out till the next morning. It's just that uh, I have this friend. She doesn't lack for anything, and she eats right and drinks right, but she just doesn't sleep well. I don't know if it's a case of affluenza or if she just has too many things on her mind. I'm thinking if it's Kazawa, but he, but she said it's a she, so it's not Kazawa. Wait, this friend you're talking about, you must mean... Yep. She's no stranger to rare and precious treasures, but I'd wager that to her, the chance to relax and get a good night's sleep is rarer than any treasure Who's in her she collection. she talking about Ningguang? All right, we'll get started on that order for you right away. Great. Thanks for the help. Uh-huh. Clear out the bandage from in good condition. First, I have to give the potion. How's the potion making going? <laughs> Hope you didn't run into too much trouble. Special guests will sometimes drop by, by during an oper operation cycle. Concoct potions in our cardinals with their orders. You might be able to help them out. Oh, they're giving you this one. Perfect. Looks like my gift is all set. Is it time for your return journey then? If you're heading back to Dornman Port, I'd be happy to accompany you. Yeah, I think I've gotten my fill of sightseeing, so it's probably time I headed back. Don't want to keep my crew waiting. <laughs> Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. Oh, and good luck with your business. On behalf of the reconnaissance company, I'd like to express my gratitude to you as well. Uh, 
time I'll invite you and you'll to be away and I will bring the, that friend of mine will treat you to a real feast. Yeah, I think he, I think she must mean Ning Guang. Because Ning Guang and Beto are friends, I think. Okay. Uh what? So strength and health. I mean strength and yeah. The red and the blue. Uh this thing. And then this thing. This. 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 Oh. Nah. I'll, I'll use uh, this one. Then go back to uh, this. There you go. There. Balance. Wait. Oh, I used the freaking thing. Ah, whatever. I made a mistake. It's okay. If you make a mistake, just make sure to not do it again. Whatever. Oh, it's not a mistake. It's actually good. And the Zyko. Yoinks. Yeah! Congratulations are in order. We're happy to hear that one of our biggest customers of Master General Grudge is now also a colleague. Let's look out for one another going forward. In Mondstadt, every store often helps each other out. Since being in business isn't easy only by supporting each other can every everyone create a healthy environment conductive to, to business and we can all make a mountain of Mount Morris together take inactivity this serves no purpose shut whatsoever. up show good I'm reading something <laughs> take this congratulatory gift it's how we do things you're welcome <laughs> is yeah just you're welcome Now you must continue to make these posions. Do you have any more things to... Never mind. Well, I guess I have to make more... Posions. Now I have to make... I'll make sure I won't make the same mistake a while ago. I think I need more blue. Thanks. Your hands. There we go. Now I think. Yes. Okay. Nothing needs to be changed. In the cycle. There you go. Okay. It's the tenth cycle. I'll make the purple. 
purple one and the wisdom one. Wisdom ones. There you go. Wisdom and Charisma. No potions to enhance. Uh, where is my Wisdom and Charisma? Oh, it's there. Well, and then... And I think it's the end. Without further ado, let us get right into it. Let more challenges begin. A brief after a brief trial period, the poison arrow. This sure is booming. We've made we've made quite the name for ourselves. For we've ourselves. got a lot of orders. Paimon's not sure we can fill them all on our own. Yeah, and Lisa's just there. Uh, maybe we should hire some help. Taking a break, cuties? I was just looking at the sales data, and it seems like you two have quite the talent for business. The potions seem to be flying off the shelves. Oh, Lisa! Perfect timing. We were just talking about how we could use some help around the shop. Oh, are the orders piling up already? Having trouble keeping up? Yep, we're officially swamped. Paimon never thought we'd get this many customers. Well, I can't say I'm surprised by the success. I was actually anticipating this kind of response. While you two were busy with the shop, I was talking with Freda about some possible ways to make the business more efficient. After observing your work, I made note of several improvements we can make to the brewing, cultivation, and sales aspects of the business. Wait, so you've been doing things behind the scenes this whole time? I thought you were just sitting there doing things nothing, doing, doing nothing. Paimon kind of thought you were just slacking off. Yeah. <laughs> hey now, I'm actually pretty reliable when it counts. <laughs> so how are we supposed to put those improvements in action? Well, I discussed things over with Freda, and the two of us came up with a plan. I'll let her give you the details, though. Why don't you go and find her? Why don't you go and find her? Fredo? Hello, Fredo? Traveler! Paimon, hello! Is there... Something I can help you with? Well, we've been a bit swamped lately, so Lisa recommended we find some ways to increase our efficiency. Uh, yes, I've discussed that with her as well. Currently, there are three areas you can improve. Brewing, cultivation, and sales. Increasing your efficiency in these areas will make it much easier to run your business. Wow, that sounds just like what we need! Let's give it a try, Traveler! Let's improve. Looks like... All the preparations needed for this upgrade have been made. This... This, 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 and this. Yeah. Swift swimming. Injured. So. The wings and. How about 
this thing. And the wings. Okay, let's do it. Oh, the strength. I should use the strength one. Thanks, Traveler Paimon and Lisa. Sucrose! Oh, it's been a while since the last time we saw you! I think. On the way here, I overheard quite a few people talking about alchemical potions. At first, I was worried something might have gone wrong with the herbs. But judging by the way people were talking, it seems like they were pretty pleased with the results. <laughs> Sucrose, your bioalchemical expertise was exactly what we needed for potion making. Yeah! We've been able to make potions with all sorts! Different effects. You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time? I guess that's expected for someone of your talent, Traveler. Uh -huh. I wouldn't be surprised if she became a potion master one day. I've still got a, way, a long way to go. I'm just a beginner. Still, if you manage to master potion making in such a short amount of time, we should be able to start teaching the public about it as well. Wait, was that also a part of Jean's plan? Yep. It's something she and Mr. Albedo talked about. As I understand it, the goal was not just to create and sell potions, but also to teach the principles and practices of alchemy to the people. Thanks to your shop, the public's understanding of alchemical potions has increased quite a bit. Perhaps, one day, they'll even be able to make simple potions themselves. Hmm. Without the proper training, though, those potions could be dangerous to use. Yeah. You're right. With Lisa there to mentor you, Traveler, we could rest assured that nothing would go wrong during the potion-making process. However, when it comes to the general public, we have to think of a way to ensure that any resulting potions would be safe to use. So, Mr. Albedo is planning to establish a set of criteria to evaluate various levels of potion-making ability, People will have to pass the exam that corresponds to their level of proficiency before being allowed to brew their own potions. Uh-huh. Let me guess. You would like us to also take part in this exam? Yes. Although it would probably be more accurate to say that we would like you to help us finalize the contents of the exam. In order to ensure a proper level of difficulty, we need to first collect the relevant data. That's where our mock exam comes in. If you could take it, Traveler, your results would serve as a very important reference for us. <laughs> if it could work. You will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. Uh -huh. <laughs> what a great idea. I must admit, I'm very interested to see how much my cutie's alchemy skills have it. improved. I guess I could give it a go. Bring it on. <laughs> Confidence is a good look on you, cutie. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Then, 
Let me explain a little bit about how the exam works. The exam has four levels. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert. To pass, all you need to do is brew a potion within the time limit that satisfies the main objective. Satisfying additional objectives will earn you extra rewards. Okay, all of this is starting to sound pretty official. Paimon's nervous all of a sudden. Just do what you normally do and you should be fine. If you don't pass the first time around, you can always retake the exam. So, no need to put too much pressure on yourself. Oh, retakes are allowed! Whew, that's a relief. Yep. Just let me know when you're ready. Alchemy exams are tests intended to assess your potioneering techniques. The exam is split into, se into several stages that must be completed in sequence. You have three attempts for each stage. Additionally, potions produced during the exams will not be saved. You will instead be refunded the ingredients consumed during the exam. Each test stage comes with its primary and secondary objectives. Complete the primary objective to pass the exams and complete the secondary objective to increase your test rating. Test rewards are based on your rating. If you fail the exam, you will wait a certain period before retaking the exam. Uh, I hate these exams. Constitution. You need, you need the hard one. <sighs> Whatever. Oh. Or used in three types. This is the second type. More than three types, you say. Pass. Yes, I passed. Great. Your movements are quite practiced, and your potion meets the requirements as well. Congratulations on passing the beginner exam. Yeah, that's just a beginner oh, exam. That was a piece of cake. It had its challenging moments. There was nothing. Even so, it was no match for your skills. All right. I believe I've collected all the necessary feedback. Looks like we'll have to make some adjustments to the level of difficulty for the actual exam. I'm gonna head back to the lab now. See you later, Traveler and Paimon. Yeah, see you later. Thank you very much. Even though I hate those exams. Okay, I haven't, I haven't uh, brewed something yet. Um, this one? Hmm... I need something... Like this. Uh, like this. And then... You. This thing looks so random. Strength potion. What? I haven't leveled up. Uh, whatever.
So six four two four two there you go. Okay. What? It didn't rise up. Whatever. Frida. Should I mix with the purple one? Hmm. The blue one and the purple one? Yeah, that could work. Constitution and Charisma. Now level up my alchemy level. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I haven't read that. Whatever. But basically, yeah, you can upgrade the ingredients here. Here you go. You can upgrade it there. Now I have to change a lot of things. this sweet flower kind of needed calo lily blaze lily how about the berries 29 kind of needed oh the wind wheel aster there you go Okay. Oh, I have to, uh. Yeah. Oh, I have. I've done it already. Now I gotta upgrade them all. To 76 to 53, give me this 275. Or maybe this one. The end Operation Psycho. There you go. Keep rising up, and I'll be happy. Okay, long time no see. Most of the battle on the honorary night. Eh? Honorary night. The world holds dear. Can you shut up, so much? Constant motion. I heard that you reinvented yourself I once again. This time, as Gene and Lisa's and business consultant, can't say I'm surprised. I've been le leading the cavalry company on a long distance training march over the past few days. And just when we arrived back in the neighborhood, a pair of adventurers discovered a band of bandits for taking advantage, advantage of the chaos caused by some monster so I ordered some delivery for the company a little appetizer oh my god it's so long before taking care of those troublemakers I never imagined the meals would 
come with complementary potions with restored uh, knights strength and reaction times to what they were before the exhausting training the cleanup operation went surprisingly smoothly it was only afterward that I learned the potions came from your shop you're doing well I see as a cav cavalry company receive your assistance I naturally must write this letter of thanks also please accept this payment as a token Circuit of gratitude from us. I hope that we will have more opportunities no for such fruitful <laughs> cooperations as, as colleagues. Can you please shut up, Shogun? Uh, what now? Tank. Oh, I thought it's Tank Pay. Huh. Traveler? Paima? Huh. Looks like you're running a business. Yeah. Oh, hey, Diona! And Tone Deaf Bard. What brings you to the shop? I could smell what you were brewing from all the way across Cider Lake. Bards have an extremely keen sense of smell, you know. Again with the nonsense! Don't listen to him! We were actually in the middle of looking for some cocktail ingredients. Margaret is getting ready to run a new promotion at the Cutsdale, so... She asked me to come up with some new drink ideas. The bard over here is performing at the event. When he saw me getting ready to leave, he insisted on tagging along to help! <laughs> <laughs> well, what better way to be the first to try your new concoction than by helping you collect ingredients. Concoction, not concoction. Whatever. Well, that explains your enthusiasm then. You're only that generous when alcohol is involved. <laughs> True. Anyway, I was having some trouble coming up with new ideas for ingredients to use. I've already experimented with just about every ingredient you can find around Mondstadt. Even the weirdest ones. The bar saw me struggling and told me he had an idea. So we split up for a while. I didn't get my hopes up. But sure enough, he came back a little while later with a rare ingredient I'd never used before. Ooh, what is it? Some sort of secret? Come on, bring it out so we can see. <laughs> it's a bird feather I found on a ruin in Dragonspine. Huh? A bird feather? It was once buried in the snow and is still cold to the touch even now. I'm sure it could be used to produce a drink with an entirely new sort of mouthfeel. Whoa. Well, if anyone can find something like that, Paimon supposes it'd be you. But fortunately, this ingredient is not easy to find. We'll probably use up the measly amount we discovered with just the recipe testing alone. Don't worry about the ingredients, Diona. I'll figure something else out. You should head back so you can get a head start on working that mixology magic of yours. Uh-huh. Because the sooner I get started, the sooner you get to take advantage of the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> uh, well, just think of it as a way to pay me in advance for all my hard work. <laughs> <laughs> that still doesn't solve our problem, though. Yeah. Traveler, Paimon, do you have any ideas for a new drink? How about a different approach? You could use, you could infuse drinks with even, even different effects. Huh? Infuse drinks with different effects? But doesn't that bring us back to the ingredient problem all over again? No. The potions could work. Oh, Paimon gets what she's saying. Ahem. <clears throat> You're looking at one of the most popular duos on the Mondstadt alchemy scene right now. Our potions are one of the hottest commodities in Tibet! Uh, but what do potions have to do with drinks? You can add them as an ingredient, of course! Potions can add all sorts of different effects! For example, with a little alchemy on your side, you could even make a drink that can heal a broken heart. Wow! I never knew potions could do something like that. Now you know, Paimon's example is a little, is a bit of, it is a, it's a bit of a stretch, but more reasonable effects are absolutely doable. Hmm, I see. How about a potion that makes people never want to drink alcohol again? Could you make something like that? <coughs> I could try. Potions are off over time. Oh! That's right. Even if we could make one that discourages people from drinking, it would only last for a little bit before wearing off. Ugh, what a shame. And here I thought I'd finally be able to dismantle the entire Mondstadt wine industry in one fell swoop. <laughs> it's okay. We'll try to see if we can find some other ways to help. Actually, I've always been curious, Diona. Is there a particular reason you don't like alcohol? <laughs> 
Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Ever been around a drunk person before? <laughs> Let me tell you, it's not a pleasant experience. Indeed. Ah, so your gripe isn't really with alcohol itself, but the fact that it makes people drunk. <laughs> hmm. This may sound a little weird, but I wonder if it's possible to use this mysterious alchemy craft of yours to make a drink that prevents people from getting intoxicated. So you mean a potion that can keep someone sober and awake? Huh. Sounds like something we could do. What do you say, Traveler? If we just need to produce something that invigorates the mind, it should be doable. Perfect! <laughs> <laughs> I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, the more sober they'll become. They'll finally have to say bye-bye to their days of drunken depravity. It's decided then. Please make me a potion that can keep people sober. I gotta say, I'm starting to get really curious about what that drink's going to taste like. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, get constitution of the and seasickness. Extend their lifespans. Hmm, if alchemy has the power to transform matter, I wonder if it could also be used to turn water into wine? Wouldn't it be amazing if all the water in Cider Lake turned into actual cider? Ew. <laughs> in that case, at least, no matter how short a mora I am, I'd never be short on liquor. <laughs> how about I cheat you to a drink instead? A fine alternative. <laughs> Who would I be to refuse such a generous invitation? We'll go as soon as your work is finished. How does that sound? You really haven't changed at all. Just the mention of alcohol practically has you chomping at the bit. Well, it's not every day I get the chance to reunite with such dear friends. What's a reunion without a generous serving of wine? <laughs> Here you go, Diona. So, how's the potion coming? Finished yet? I'll give you this one. I can't believe I'm putting the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands! Wowza! <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I'm gonna head back and start developing my new drinks right away! Yeah, let's see if Wait, it works. don't leave without me! I thought you were gonna let me be the taste tester! Of course! <laughs> Operation Eliminate Drunkards has just begun, and you, my friend, are my first test subject! Test subject. <laughs> and just like that, another problem solved. Looks like you've done it again, Traveler and Paimon. Alcohol that doesn't make you drunk. Ooh, if I'm able to develop something like that, I guess there really is a type of alcohol that I can get behind. Uh-huh. Amazing, I can't wait to make some sort of wine at my sober <laughs> the more they drink. Great. Okay, let's uh, now create something. Oh, these are new ingredients. Okay, I, I guess I've received new ingredients. Uh, heart and wisdom. Wait, what's the thing again? Constitution and seasickness. So strength and heart. And heart. Oh. Dexterity. Oh, it's not strength. You need strength. Here, I'll give you strength. Drink all your strength. Oh, never mind. I don't, I'm not using that. There you go. And then... Uh, this one? No. I need the upside down one. Uh, whatever. I guess I don't have that one. Why don't I have that one? I don't know. There you go. Hey. 
There you go. Is there a three? It's three. Yeah, it's three. And then L shape. Take that. Oh, I haven't claimed it yet. And it. Yeah. I need more freaking money. <coughs> that fits. I guess this doesn't want. This doesn't fit. This fits though. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to focus here. <laughs> Don't mind me. There you go. Then upgrade a lot of this. selling is there like uh oh, change that. oh there's a 300 here and then this one what oh i haven't played <laughs> i haven't uh yeah no Great job. Okay, two hundred thousand. Oh. Traveler, Paimon, how oh, is the potion no, making been going lately? Oh no, not the exam again. Too close, you're back. It's 
to be going great. We're still working on some kicks. Well, you just need to keep practicing. You'll get the hang of it in no time. As for the intermediate exam, just think of it as a practice session and you'll be fine. Well, ready to begin? Uh-huh. Strength and dexterity. Uh, what? Strength and... Oh, this too. Great. But I'll do that. <coughs> when I claim this. Hold on a second. I'll do the exam just a bit. Improve it. <coughs> now let's upgrade some of the ingredients. I'll upgrade uh, this one. I can't upgrade them. Why? Special berry. 20. There you go. Now it's maxed. About you. Will you be will you max yourself in no time? Nope. Then you max yourself. Max it out. Nope. That's enough. How about you? There you go. Sucrose, I'm ready. If you're ready, let's go. Strength. You want this. Strength. Strength in the wings. Uh, what's your rules again? Displays at least two characteristics. Yes, I'll try. Okay. This thing. This thing. Uh, Miss Flower. I could try that. And then... This thing. Um... I don't know if I'm gonna pass, but I hope I do. Let's see. It did... It displayed two characteristics. Yay! I passed! Again! Uh, I hope I keep passing. Let me see. Yep. Looks like your potion meets the requirements. You've passed once again. <laughs> We're getting pretty good at this. I'm so glad I asked for your help. Please, take this for your trouble. Thank you very much. Kinda needed that. <coughs> Freda. I need to upgrade this. And then this. Now my next target is that one. Okay. I gotta upgrade them all. At max level, if I can. Oh, I level. I have to max level this. No, the purple one first. Oh no! How much do I have that? Thirty-eight. Twenty. Forty-one. Only twenty. Ten and 
only ten. You only six. Seven. There you go, it's already maxed. Now your turn. Forty-six. I'll make it twelve. Only six. It's a uh, five. Five. Six. Four. Seven. Eight. Oh my god That's enough Oh my god, how am I gonna upgrade these things If I don't have enough Let's make them level one. potions again even though I have don't have enough <laughs> hmm I should use this and I should use this and then strength I guess Nah. Okay, and this. And last one. There you go. I'll use this because I love that bottle. It's my favorite. And there is nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Just kidding. Four star now. A four star potion. What can I remove? I should remove the lowest one, this one. Uh, there you go. Yeah, rise up. 17 to 19. <laughs> to a brewing. I haven't actually upgraded some of them. Just make random things here that could kind of work. There you go. Okay. 
god. Yeah. How about this cat? Oh, it's had a four star. Shame. Whatever. I think I need to buy free some stuff now for from Frida. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oh, so many things. I'll get this one. Let's remove everything else first. Okay. can I use? Is there a 400 on here? No, only 360. Whatever. <laughs> and it's done. Oh, it lowered. I know. In my capacity as the guardian of Aru village and on behalf of the other guards and all who travel the desert, allow me to express my sincerest thanks. Not long ago, strange happenings were afoot here in the desert with hordes of monsters roaming near Aru village, harassing residents and travelers alike. It was our great fortune that the potions you created were critical in helping the travelers avoid danger and reach our village after the guards drank them as well, and they became even more valiant in driving back the monsters. Soon, I shall lead them in an offensive and restore Aru village's tranquility. Should you should you have time, please come to our village for a spell. I shall prepare our finest meals and drinks for you. Oh. Hello, everyone. Diluc. Oh, is that Master Diluc? Oh, Diluc. What's someone as busy as you doing in this neck of the woods? It's really it's really been a while. Fancy seeing you here, Diluc. Elzer told me the knights launched a new commercial endeavor that turned out to be quite the hit. I think he was a bit surprised by the level of success, so he told me to come check it out. But seeing as you two are the ones in charge, I'm really not surprised at all. The Knights definitely chose the most reliable people for the job. Yes, yours true. Uh, Elzer is the manager of Don Winery, right? Huh, Paimon thought he didn't get out much. Wonder how he heard about our shop. Wait, are we that famous already? Yep. <laughs> No need to sound so surprised. The winery keeps us all very busy. Elzer only takes the time to brief me with this sort of intel if he thinks we are faced with a real threat. In such a short amount of time, you've been able to establish complete production and supply lines, and even receive orders from all around Tevat. Uh -huh. If you were in the wine business, you'd already be one of our biggest rivals. Oh, <laughs> really? What? what? We're coming for your business. Let the trade war begin. Oh, you <laughs> sure seem eager, cutie. <laughs> Looks like you really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number one wine merchant in all of Mondstadt. Are you just itching to see whose business prowess would come out on top? Hmm. A competition with the Traveler. That's not a bad suggestion. You're extremely knowledgeable and well-traveled. If we were to become competitors, I'm sure you'd throw many a challenge my way. Probably even some I've never faced before. But I was really just using the wine industry as an example to emphasize your success. Our two industries aren't exactly fighting for the same market space. Actually, the success of your potion shop is good for the winery's business. Good for your business? Paimon's lost! You were just talking about how the two industries were separate and now they're suddenly connected? <laughs> it's a bit convoluted. 
Alcohol is a commodity that most people consume in their free time. In order to have free time, though, you have to get off work early. For the alcohol industry to thrive, consumers need to have both the time and the money to spend. That's exactly right. Your potions allow people to work more efficiently. As they get more popular, people will be able to complete their work faster. The more free time people have, the bigger the market there is for a commodity like mine. Oh, that makes sense. It's hard to be in the mood to go out and enjoy life if you're super busy all the time. Paimon never thought about it that way before. There sure are a lot of layers to running a business. Guess this means we're in the Mora making business together then. Hey, why don't you try out one of our potions? Please check our offerings, dear partner. If you want something, just name it and we'll make hmm. it. I do have quite the interest in the effects of alchemical potions. Well, since you offered, please make a potion that can reduce the anxieties of the user while also improving their attention to detail. Reduce anxiety while also improving the user's attention to detail? That almost sounds a little contradictory to me. I must admit to being curious. If my cuties do manage to make this potion for you, D. Luke, how exactly do you intend to use it? Well, I mentioned before that people with ample free time are an important consumer base for my industry. But actually, the same is true for people who are incredibly busy and overwhelmed with work. After a period of high stress, like a busy workday, it can take a while for people to fully decompress. It's also common for that type of stress to leave people so exhausted that all they can do is spend the rest of the day in a daze. That level of stress and exhaustion makes it hard for people to derive pleasure from things they usually enjoy. Like relishing the flavor of their favorite food and drink. <sighs> you can say that again. Paimon's definitely been there before. Sometimes after a really long day, Paimon will be so tired, but she just can't relax. Not even her favorite snacks would hit the spot like they usually do. Oh, my poor little cuties. Sounds like things can get quite tough out on the road. You know what? You just earn yourself some extra snacks at our upcoming tea party. Once this is all over, I'll personally see to it that you get the chance for a proper rest. Why, thank you, Lisa. So basically, you need us to make a potion that decreases tension, but increases attention. <laughs> so that people can enjoy the finer things in life, no matter how busy or stressed they are. Uh, did Paimon get that right? Exactly. Wine is meant to be savored. Drinking it without being able to appreciate its subtle notes and characteristics is a loss, not just for the winemaker, but for the consumer as well. If we can increase the alertness of those too exhausted to perceive the subtle notes, but decrease the restlessness of those too agitated to raise their glass, then we can be sure to reach a point of balance where all can enjoy their wine to the fullest extent. Ex excellently put, Diluc. I see the vision. Well, it's definitely a unique request. Seems like this would be a tricky challenge for any potion maker. Nah. We should get to thinking then. First things first, let's figure out what ingredients to use. It's already done, Dluk. Come taste it. How's the potion coming? Have you finished? Uh-huh. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Constitution and Wisdom. You want Constitution and Wisdom? Alright, I'll give it to you. Uh, what's Constitution and Wisdom again? Constitution and Wisdom. Oh, it's the heart and the book. Remember that. Let's see what the book has. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, why don't I have the mirror of this thing? I don't know. Oh, well. Uh, 
constitution and wisdom. Let's see the wisdom. Now. There we go. Uh, again, oh, the heart. This one and this one. <laughs> I need more of this one. And then this one. And I'll guess. Oh, I don't have this one anymore. Ah, whatever. And then this one. Done. Take it. It's a four star. Look. Here you go. How's the potion coming? Have you finished? thought you might need more time but it looks like you've already found the solution nice job wow the effect is even more apparent than i imagined your many talents just keep on surprising me on behalf of don winery i would like to make a bulk purchase order for this potion oh and don't worry about the delivery side of things Elzer will send someone to pick up the potions once they're ready. My plan is to enlist the help of artisans to infuse candles and fragrances with the effects of this potion. Those products will serve as complimentary gifts for customers to enjoy during wine tasting. So you plan to make alchemical potions part of the wine drinking experience itself. Uh -huh. Interesting. And very much in keeping with the Dawn Winery's way of doing business. Looks like our new products are here. He just secured a huge order from John Wonder. If our potion was enough to impress Master D. Luke, I'm unsure regular customers are going to be even more amazed. Well, there's still work to be done, so I should probably head out. It'll take some time before we know exactly what the commercial impact of this combination will be. Impact. In any case, <laughs> it's been a pleasure working with you. Here's hoping our two businesses will have a long and successful partnership. I hope those orders will keep on rolling in, for both our sakes. Oh, and if you have some time, you should stop by Angel Share to see your masterpiece in action. For sure! I'm on can't wait! We'll see you next time, Master Dilu! Goodbye, Dilu. I hope I don't see you when I'm wishing. <laughs> to help those who are exhausted to con concentrate. And to help those racked with nerves to relax, your potion has have extremely considerable potential. Uh huh. Just make sure, Diluc, I won't see you ever again when I'm wishing. <laughs> when will I end the cycle? I mean, when will I, uh, uh, huh, 360, oh, I haven't upgraded it yet. Oh, it's already, whatever. Rido! Uh 
upgrade them now. 48. 20. 22. 20. Okay, Lumidus Bell. Fifteen only. There you go. I'll make sure I will use a lot. Oops. I just use them all, whatever. Let's change. Is, you have enough ingredients. <laughs> I'll just use uh, some. Okay, no, it's not that strong. I don't have enough ingredients. I'll just make sure. Just make sure. Hmm. Oh, my God, it's so hard. If that works, That's a five star, I think. Oh, it's still a four star, I guess. That'll be five star soon. Watch. Oh, it didn't turn five star. Oh, whatever.
I'll just upgrade some of the useless things here. Seven twenty constitution and dexterity. There we go. What is this? Oh, it's three sixty. There you go. Am I done? Go get the ingredients that I don't have anymore. This one. This one. What else? Go after. Um, blaze lily. This thing. No! Cheesh! Whatever. Forgot the things. There you go, I have them all. Finally. Now, what about a combination we should use? I should use wisdom and strength. Or wisdom. No, wisdom and strength. Huh. What do I use? Strength. Then I should use this one. I don't know. There you go. Where is wisdom? Here. No. Wisdom is strength, you see. I think I don't. Oh, I don't have any. This one. This one. I don't know, I'm just using random stuff here. Perfectly balanced. Ooh. That's so cool. Looks like a banana. There you go. Strength and wisdom. Okay. Oh, nothing so cool. Um, what should I 
Oh. Should remove this. Put this. There you go. End it. And I hope I can end the video now. Thanks so much for those amazing closures you've been inviting me. Lynette and I have been rehearsing non-stop for a whole slew of new magic tricks lately. And we completely wore ourselves out to the point of not be even being able to concentrate properly. Luckily, the family day brought, brought us a kind of invigorating potion. And it cleared our minds right up. He said a merchant from Sumeru was reselling it from another supplier. I found the merchant, and after exchanging a few words, I learned that the inventors of the potion were none other than you and Paimon. Bravo! None less than I... Than I'd expect. Thanks to your help, Lynette and I successfully mastered an, a brand new program from the penultimate act of our show. We'll send you an invitation to our next performance in bed, so be sure not to miss it. It's the end. I think. I hope. Come on. Please. I hope it's the end. It is the end. Okay, welcome back for the last day of the video. So, instead of splitting it to three splitting this video into three days i'll just edit it out uh, i think you'll see some parts i'm saying and i'm doing the intro and the outro i'll be cutting it out maybe you'll see yeah so maybe this video will tr take into three hours yeah three hours or two hours and a half i guess over time your business said ah! <laughs> oh a merchant is here uh Paimon's not sure they're from Mondstadt, though. Let's go check it out! She's from Sumeru. Yeah, as I was saying, I'll just connect all the videos. Atefe. Hello there! The name's Atefe. Atefe. I'm a traveling merchant from Sumeru. Great to meet you. Whoa, you've made quite the journey! Guess news of our humble chef has already spread to all four corners of Tibet! Work is paying off. <laughs> I have to agree. This venture of yours is becoming quite well known. In fact, many well informed merchants have heard word of your potion selling endeavor, but most people are still not willing to take a risk on such a rare commodity. If you ask me, though, when the opportunity knocks, you've got to be ready to answer. That's how you make the big Mora. Although the general public still doesn't know much about alchemical potions right now, with a little effort and marketing on your side, you can carve out a nice space in the market for yourself. Once that happens, the Mora will just keep on flowing. Once you've generated enough demand, you could even increase your prices tenfold. <laughs> With that kind of profit, you could even take tenfold. the rest of the year off if you wanted. Tenfold? Are you serious? <laughs> as long as the demand is there, people will pay anything. You could say it's a sort of mutual agreement between consumer and supplier. With the way you talk, Paimon can't help but be reminded of a certain other Mora-obsessed merchant. Dory. Wait, you did say you were from Sumeru. Maybe you know her. Ever met Dory? Wait, you mean Lord Songama Bay? One of the most famous merchants in all of Sumeru? Yeah. That Dory? You know her? She's a friend of mine. We've met a couple of times. Oh, wow. Lord Sangama Bay is one of my biggest idols. Her business sense and dedication to making Mora has always been one of my greatest inspirations. I was even lucky enough to visit the Palace of Alcazarzare once. It truly is a magnificent sight. One day, I hope to be just like her. Up to my ears and more Mora than I can count. <laughs> uh, looks like we lost her. Should Paimon snap her out of it? We wish or... you all the best. Let's get back to business. <clears throat> You're right. I seem to have strayed off topic. Back to where we were then. I believe I was telling you how we can make some big Mora together. The idea is actually pretty simple. You produce the potions, provide me with a regular supply, and I'll help you sell them across to that. If that sounds good to you, then we should talk more in depth about what kinds of potions to sell this time around. Okay. According to my keen market sense, these are the kinds of potions that are currently in demand. 
While the shop is operating, posts and distributors here. <laughs> If you can see in the mouths of the <laughs> too tired to read it all. Develop a strategy to advance strategy into Okay, whatever. Here, sell these all. Make sure to give me back the money. Yes. After taking some blah blah blah, you will res Thing that I'm about to read. Amazing. Oh shoot, some of these are still level one. Uh, go. I'll just max them all out. You're 140. Whoa, 90. <laughs> You're level 2. I'll make use um, 40 of you. There you go. And you. Maybe you. There you go. Two of your left. Twenty is enough. And you, the last one. Uh, Thirty is enough. How about I decrease you up to ten, and then you. There you go. And all of them is max leveled. I should be receiving them five stars. this already? Calla lily. No. I'll make the calla lily. Oh, calla lily is over there. How about... more of you? Mushrooms. How about... Okay, now I have that. Now that I have enough ingredients, I should finally create create everything as I wanted. Hmm. I'm gonna use this. But I'll be trying to get the purple one. Uh, what should I get? There you go. And then this one. No, 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 no. This one. Where's this one? Still, oh, never mind. Yeah, bear flower. What? It's not a five star. Eh, whatever. Thank you. 
Now what is this? Oh. Five, five, two, seven, twenty. You. And then. Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. How many did I receive? Plus. Oh. Hi, you two. Oh, no, it's not the while, exam again. It? Oh, you're back. Wait. That must mean there's a new exam! I forgot yep. the exam exists. It's time for the advanced exam. This one will be harder than previous exams, but I'm sure you'll do just fine. I'll do my if best. we don't pass this time, it'll be super embarrassing! It'll be don't sure. worry too much about that. Lots of things in life require a couple of tries before you get it right. Yeah. When I first started working as Mr. Albedo's assistant, all sorts of unexpected things would go wrong during my experiments. For example, when I was studying the properties of mist flowers, I accidentally froze all the equipment in the lab. I basically turned them into ice sculptures. Our precision instruments were nearly ruined beyond repair. Another time, I had let a reagent boil for a little bit too long, and all the precious ingredients inside got charred to pieces. The smell was so bad, several nights passing by thought the lab had caught fire. <sighs> Back then, I would get really hard on myself whenever things went wrong. But eventually I realized that, in order to make new discoveries, you have to accept the risk of failure. A fear yeah. of making mistakes will prevent you from truly going after what it is that you want. You're absolutely right! Hey, you're actually really good at motivating people! Mm -hmm. I was motivated. <laughs> it's just my experience talking. I've spent a lot of time doing research in the lab after all. Anyway, as long as you try, you'll learn something valuable from the experience. All right, whenever you're ready, we can go ahead and proceed with the advanced exam. Wisdom. Fragrant. These five types. Wisdom. You want wisdom. Pass because this one is a little harder. Okay. So, so you said five ty types of ingredients. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four. Uh, excuse me. That's already four types. This is the fifth type. should focus on wisdom. Uh, where did I get that again? Oh, it's this one. Please pass, please pass, please pass. Five star. Pass. Yes, I pass. Well, except for that one. <laughs> the harder one is the expert exam. Wow, you even breezed through the advanced exam. Ever thought about helping out around the lab? Drop everything -uh. and pursue the path of an alchemy master? Traveler. Not sure we're quite not sure we we're quite ready for that yet, but we can certainly help if out. If we work together, I'm sure we can make something super amazing. By super amazing, do you mean you already have something in mind? Uh-huh. Well, in the past, 
My research was mainly focused on the study of plants. But this experience has shown me that potions can have all kinds of effects on people as well. So, I started thinking, what if potions could have an even greater effect on people? Like, what if they could be used to help people unlock their hidden potential? A memory-enhancing potion, for example, could help people memorize a whole library's worth of knowledge in a single breath. Uh, Alternatively, so a strength-enhancing potion could make it so that Paimon could take down an Abyss Mage all on her own. Whoa. Paimon didn't know you could make potions like that. Sounds awesome! Uh -huh. Well, it's certainly theoretically possible. Alchemy is, in itself, a way to explore the unknown. It's a discipline with endless potential. In fact, current research has barely scratched the surface of what's possible with alchemy. Theory, though, is always easier than practice. And with alchemy, there are simply too many things that you have to take into consideration. Just off the top of my head, there's the theory of sublimation, the potion's mechanism of action, and the innate metabolism of the person consuming the potion. I... Hyman didn't quite catch all that. <laughs> My bad. We can talk about the details some other time. If you're interested, just stop by the lab. Sweet! Watch out, world! With a cool potion from Sucrose, Paimon will be able to become the strongest guide into Vast in no time! Oh, well, no. <laughs> I'll be off then. Only one more exam to go. I imagine you and I will both have some final preparations to make. Yeah. <sighs> Next exam, 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 whatever. Exam there, exam everywhere. Level up, level up, lock. Oh shoot. No, this is the one left. <laughs> That's a fake. This to always works. Okay. Handle. <laughs> Have I ended it already? Oh. Yeah, I recently ended it already. I didn't I forget. Okay. What do I mix now? I should mix purple and no wisdom and strength. No, this wings and the blue one. Yeah. Okay. Where's the, uh, the wings? Shoot. Okay. There. Uh, I need more wing. I should be able to remove this. There you go. Oh, the blue one. And then... I need more wings. Thank <laughs> you. 
go. Hey, it's a five star now. I have to remove this. Oh my god, so many things to upgrade. Ah, there it, you guys. Is it gonna be a five star? No. I should try this. I should try that next rotation, I guess. Strength and wisdom. I'll try the next. Ah, uh, concentration. There you go. Oh no, it's so long. Anyway, <coughs> let's read this super long thing. I hope this humble token of my boundless gratitude for your kindness and care for your noble selves have shown will prove of some use to your whole honorable endeavor. Hmm, a more relaxed tone might be better. Less, less this seems like some overly stilted business letter from the Fayan Commerce Guild. Recently, I've been reading too many books with novel conceptions and find myself still pon pondering the ideas therein even after the tolling of the midnight bells unable to embrace the sweet solace of sleep. My husband, my household husband, <laughs> my household servants recommend a certain calming potion and it was most um, effective, completely curing my insomnia. It's insomnia. After making detailed inquiries into the provenance of said potion, the reply came the golden haired traveler. Ah, such fortuitous fate. The, re the reputation the of your alchemical emporium proceeds in. Life is like Shut up, Shogun! Or a bubble rising through water. Uh, praise for it. Transitory. Pouring from the lips of all, for it has helped many conquer the conundrums that confounded them. Perhaps this too can be considered a form of chivalry. I shall recommend your masterpiece as I will honor burns of mine and perhaps soon you shall be known by the title of Grand Master with Elixirs. <sighs> so long. <laughs> Hello, Atate. Now give me my money. Give it my this, this, this. Now get lost. Ah. When is my exam? That's the only la that's the last thing I'm waiting. Okay, Frida. Is there anything more I can do? Oh, it's done. Oh, the, the exam is the final one, I guess. Uh huh. Shop decorations. No. 100,000. What the frick? Okay. Um. What am I gonna do? Oh, strength and what? What is that? Strength and wisdom. So, wisdom. Aww. Wisdom. Now we go 
strength. Strength. I should use this. Hmm. There you go. And then there. Wisdom. Um, this one. And more this one. Wait, this is wings. That's not wisdom. Ah. That's enough. I guess. There you go. Ah, my favorite bottle. Yay. Even upgrading the uh, useless ones. I should do this one next. The red and the strength and the. Uh, I forgot this one. Constitution. All the world holds dear is but a backdrop of constant motion. Why am I going with Frida? I should be going back there and selling my stuff. This one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, three hundred thousand. I received three hundred thousand. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's a cat in a oh, dog. So you're the ones behind the potion shop I've heard so much about. When it comes to fulfilling requests, I heard the customer's wish is practically your command. It's a cat and a huh? dog. Goro, where did you come from? Oh, and Kirara is here too. What are you guys doing in Mindstack? Didn't expect to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Comania Express operates all across Tavat, so I'm always on the road. Uh huh. Oh, I have never met Kirara yet. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Kirara, cat upon the eaves, an adorable and lively young girl. The tracks of its of this gold level courier. Working for an Inazuma delivery company, Company Express, crisscross the continent as she safely delivers every single package to their recipients. She is actually a type of yokai known as a nekomata, who admires human society and works passionately to, b to better be a, p a part of it in the li lives of ordinary people. Gentle-hearted, she is more than willing to repay every kindness shown to her. If you gave her some snacks, she snacks from receiving your package from her, perhaps the next time you may find a mysterious package on your doorstep containing novel gifts from a foreign land. I'm actually pretty familiar with Mondstadt from my trips here in the past. 
General Goro, on the other hand, seems to still be getting the lay of the land. He got lost not too far from here. Nice. <clears throat> well, I would normally be provided with ample intel before carrying out an operation in a foreign <laughs> territory. But Watatsumi Island isn't exactly home to many people who've been to Mondstadt. I wasn't even able to obtain a map of the region. I have basically had to perform initial reconnaissance in the middle of a formal operation. Not exactly ideal conditions for an air-free mission. <laughs> Affirmative, General. Next time, I'll procure the most detailed map available and make sure you have it at your disposal from mission outset. Over and... Uh, you can Over drop the formalities, Kirara. I don't expect you to report back to me like I'm your commanding officer. We hired you as a consultant. It wouldn't be fair to treat you like one of my soldiers. Hey now, it's not like this is some one-sided partnership. We agreed, right? In exchange for my services, you'll help promote our business to the people of Watatsumi Island. Your good word will be integral in helping Komania Express become people's first choice for all their delivery needs. Our future business is counting on you. <laughs> Advertisement. Back to Paimon's question, though. You still haven't told us what you're doing in Mondstadt. You mentioned something about a mission? Ah, uh, yes. It's a funny story, actually. Oh, how funny. Recently, Watatsumi Island has been looking for ways to increase transportation efficiency. Basically, this means improving the operations of our cargo ships. So, we decided to send teams across to VAT to learn about the most advanced techniques different nations have to offer. We had just wrapped up our trip to Liyue when we heard word of your mysterious potion shop. So, we decided to postpone our return journey for a bit and come check it out. Turns out it was the right choice. Well, Paimon's gotta say, you practically hit the jackpot by coming here. We've got stuff you can't find anywhere else. Hit the jackpot by coming here. <laughs> we'll make you something super special. We'll make, you sh we'll make sure you leave with something fun and useful. Oh, more customers from abroad. <laughs> My cuties sure are popular. You really do have friends all over to that. <laughs> hmm. Looking at your two friends here, I can't help but be reminded of my dear little wolf cub. Razor. You know what? I should introduce you sometime. For some reason, I have a feeling the three of you would really hit it off. In fact, once you've wrapped up your potion purchasing, why don't you both join me and my cuties for afternoon tea? I'll even bring my student along. Afternoon tea? Sounds great! I could really use some refreshments. Long days of deliveries always leave me parched. <sighs> Thanks for the invitation. Uh, something tells me you're not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> Wait, why does this feel so familiar? Miko. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, Traveler, care to make some introductions? She's a guardian mage of tomes and spells. She can also make her some tea. G guardian mage? <laughs> wow, what an impressive title. Is it a position similar to that of a Gucci? <laughs> Wait. Could it be that I'm in the presence of someone as high-ranking as Your Excellency, like Lady Sanganomiya herself? Go, get me. Honestly, Traveler, you're gonna give the guy a heart attack. <laughs> Don't be nervous, Goro. That's just, uh, a nickname. Her real name is Lisa. She works as the librarian here in Mondstadt, and she's also the person in charge of our shop. Uh -huh. Lisa, this is Goro. He's a super powerful general super from Watatsumi <laughs> Island. <laughs> and this is Kirara. She's a super punctual delivery woman with Komania Express. Kirara. Hmm, the name sounds familiar. Ah, oh, the collection of books from Inazuma that I have in the library. You were the one who delivered them, yes? Aww. What a helpful little gem you are. <laughs> I'm glad our paths have crossed again, Miss Lisa. I hope you'll consider me for future delivery jobs as well. As for my cutie's other acquaintance, I believe I've read a few articles about you, General Goro. I seem to recall more than a few references to your empathetic nature and skillful approach to leading your troops. Let me guess, your troops are also the focus of your potion inquiry here today? Exactly! Commercial activity between Watsutsumi Island and other regions has been on the rise recently. The workload has increased so much, both the soldiers who work on our shipping convoys and the sailors who work on the merchant vessels are struggling to keep up. What would really come in handy would be a potion that could help them handle their intense workload. Like, one that could enhance their energy and physical strength. Okay, I could definitely use a potion like that uh, as well. I don't know if I can make that. When I'm out on a long delivery, you wouldn't believe how tired my legs would get from trekking across all that rugged terrain. Not to mention the damage it does to my paws. Oh. My cutie should be more than familiar with that kind of potion by now. I'm sure they'll have it done in no time. Should be doable. We've got this. Yep, leave it to us. 
Well, while you two hop to it, I'm gonna find an idle knight to deliver a letter to my little wolf cub and ask him to treat us to the pleasure of his company. <laughs> Once my cuties are done brewing a potion that satisfies your needs, we'll all celebrate over afternoon tea. <laughs> afternoon tea on the banks of Cider Lake. Oh, I wonder what that'll be like. Oh, I can't wait to find out. <sighs> I'm just glad I finally found a way to help my troops. Okay. Can I deliver it instantly? <laughs> I thought I told you this before, that if you want to pass through the forest undetected, you're going to want to wet your tails. Wet fur doesn't get snagged on branches and twigs as easily as dry fur. You'll be able to slip on by, and your enemies will be none the wiser. <sighs> Nuh-uh. That's not going to happen. I can't stand my tails wet. I'd be better off uh, tying them in a knot or something. Or, better yet, improving my fighting skills so that I don't have to sneak by them in the first place. <laughs> oh, you're here. How's the potion coming? Uh, let's see if I can give it to you instantly. Girl, Kirara, your potion is now ready. Why don't you give it a try? Wonderful. You two sure work fast. What? Hmm. Wow, my right shoulder was acting up from using my bow so much, but a few drops of your potion and the pain is completely gone. The, the pain from walking on all that rough terrain. It's like it was never there. I thought you dealt in potions, not magic elixirs. Magic elixir. With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. Uh, Looks like we've got another hit on our hands. Guess we can add the people of Watatsumi Island and the workers at Komania Express to our list of happy customers! What a perfect result. Well done, me. Well, now that our work is out of the way, there's nothing standing between us and that afternoon tea we were promised. Oh, perfect! Lisa's is here! Afternoon tea? I'm sorry to report, my little wolf cub appears to be busy. Oh, Razor I sent someone busy. to fetch him in Wolvendom, but he wasn't there. It's such a shame he's going to miss the opportunity to meet some fellow furry-aired companions. But I'm sure you'll have the chance to meet in the future. In fact, the next time I see him, I'll be sure to tell him about the two of you. It'll give him something to look forward to. Okay. Lisa says on the table, she's a table, she's a table, she's a table. Why could I enjoy the very thing or it seems a bit nervous in her eyes? Wow, you placed quite the sizable order. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage, my Inazuman friends. If feedback on the potion is favorable, I hope you'll consider re-upping your supply when the time comes. If making the journey proves too troublesome, we can always ship them to you. Of course! I have a feeling this super powerful alchemical craft of yours could be a game changer for the entire delivery industry. Absolutely. I'll be sure to collect detailed feedback from my troops. Anyway, we should head out. Until next time, Traveler in Paimon. Oh, and it was a pleasure meeting you, Miss Guardian Mage. Guardian Mage. Bye, Goro. Bye, Kimara. Goodbye. Hmm. The next time I'm in Mondstadt, I should make it an official visit. A formal meeting between Her Excellency and the Honorable Guardian Mage is sure to be a momentous occasion. Uh -huh. Oh, seems like that made-up title really had an impression <laughs> on him. It's given him all sorts of funny ideas. Let's continue. Oh no. Thank you so much, the assistant to render the blood of the second hand of the company experience is incredibly important. 180,000. That's a lot. Well, let us buy. Uh, what's that? I forgot what's that called. Sales by the contract. Distributor. I'm not buying decorations. Yes, I know, I saw. I'm not reading them. I know you're from the way. Yeah. What do you want? Wisdom, this, this. I forgot what this was. 
200 gold and ball purchase. I forgot. I didn't remember, sorry. And a new ATK. This one and the red one. Hmm. And the blue one. red ones you hey more blue there go and wait no the red one uh. I didn't balance it, didn't I? I didn't. Ugh. I hate this. Let's balance it. What's this? Oh. The red one. This one. There you go. There, that's a good balance. Yes. Now it's balanced. And it's a four star. Of course. I'll make it a five star. I can't make it a five star. Great. Final exam. Constitution. There we go. Seven eighty. Nah, that's enough. Wait, I saw a nine ten there. This one. Job, thanks. Wow, I have to hand it to you, cuties. I never imagined that you'd be able to bring in so much Mora in such a short amount of time. You're practically geniuses when it comes to business. It's all thanks to your help. We just uh, got the hang of it along the way. Hmm, a testament to your ability to learn on the job. If I had your help all the time, I bet I could take double the amount of vacation without a care in the world. With all of your hard work up to this point, we've already collected enough sales data for our research. Thank you so much for all your help. Of course, if you're interested in continuing to run the shop, you'd make me a very happy Lisa. In either case, I should already have more than enough to report back to Jean with. Traveler, Paimon. 
It's been a long time. Team! Oh, you're here. I wrapped up some business with my cuties and was just about to go report back to you at headquarters. No need. I already talked to some other knights, so I think I have a fairly good understanding of the situation. <laughs> Looks like you've troubled the Traveler to help you once again. <laughs> How could I not? When it comes to work as important as this, a smart and capable partner is simply a must-have. Especially if we want good results. Look at the success of the shop. I could have never produced that kind of result on my own. Well, I do have to admit, your success is remarkable. I've been meaning to come see you for some time now, but work kept getting in the way and I simply couldn't find the time. Regardless, I just knew I had to come thank you in person. We should thank you for your support as well. It was a group effort. It's truly reassuring to have such outstanding members among our ranks. <sighs> Once this is all over, I do believe I'm due for a vacation. vacation. I've lost quite a few strands of hair to all the stress. <laughs> of course. Thank you for all your hard work. Seeing you cooped up in that library all the time, I was worried you might be bored. So I thought I'd give you an opportunity to truly make use of your talents. Perhaps I put too much on your plate at once. It wasn't that bad. After all, it's not like I was in it alone. All the help from the Knights and the Traveler really helped to lessen the load. Plus, it was fun to get back into research. It's nice to relive those days every once in a while. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you again for all your help, Traveler. Please take this as your compensation. Uh, thank you very much. Ah, oh, speaking of compensation, I've also prepared a little memento for you. Here, I hope you like it. Ooh, a potion again. Oh my god, so much potion. Okay, now I've got, I just gotta wait for that final exam. Genie's here. And wait for the exam. Sucrose. Sucrose, you're here! Oh, is it time for the expert exam already? Yes. Our alchemy skills are improving so fast, Paimon can barely keep up! Your progress has been very impressive. In fact, according to the way Mr. Albedo designed the exams, passing the expert level would mean you're now qualified to mentor other people. We could start to teach other people? Then Paimon's totally going to start a class. Um, let's see. How much should Paimon charge per student? Well, all Paimon knows right now is that for homework, her students are gonna have to use alchemy to make all sorts of tasty treats. <laughs> Paimon will be sure to give them lots of feedback. On their alchemy skills, of course. Let's focus on the exam for I'm now. sure this one will go just as well as the others. I'm ready to begin whenever you are. I'll be rooting for you. Okay, here we are again. Charisma. So what do you want? What the frick? 
life is so confusing. I've been failing this exam in the other accounts. This is the first time I've passed. <laughs> Alright, let me give your potion a try. Yep, the effect looks good. The quality of your potion is quite high as well. Your talent in this discipline is truly remarkable. So, we passed? Can we teach alchemy now? What an amazing achievement, cuties. Oh, congratulations! We have learned a, lot, a thing or two about potion making, but we're still no me by no means experts when it comes to everything else. Now is not the time to be humble. You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time. That's an impressive achievement, no matter how you look at it. Exactly! I was also really surprised at how quickly you picked it up. I thought it would have taken way more time. Oh. Anyway, thank you so much for your help. Your participation has allowed me to collect some very valuable data. With everything we've learned, we should be able to offer the official exam soon. This is sure to be a critical moment in the development of the alchemical potions industry. Paimon feels like she just took part in something super important. Of course. You two are practically pioneers. What you've been able to contribute to the field of alchemy is as impressive as a biologist discovering a new species. Anyway... I should probably head back and go over the data I've collected. Traveler, Paimon, thanks again for your participation. If you have some free time, please stop by the lab. Well, finally done. Everything is done. I just buy this decoration thing. So I'm officially done with this thing. Oh, job well done. Oh, it's done. The world remains calm. Okay. Seems it Over is the centuries. Done. But human Can I claim this. Life is like the dew at Catherine. dawn or a bubble Lame. rising through water. All the rewards transitory. Add as Thank you. Okay. to claim. There's no claim all, of course. Okay, next one. All the right world now. holds dear. Oh my god, two million. <laughs> Wait, two million? Yeah, that's two million. I thought it's 22 million. Okay, so it's like I made nine wishes. Yep. Oops. How am I? How's my pity? Five. 
15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56. I should be able to get some in time. Yeah. Well, I can reach him standard. Something. I'm just kidding. Ning Guang said hi. Oh, it's because I haven't got a lot of four star in a while. Anyway, that's the end. So, anyways, if you like the video, three thumbs it up. If you don't like the video, please thumbs it down, subscribe for more content, leave a like, and hit the bell. And share the video if you want. So anyways, I'm your host, Kino. I'm using goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you next episode on this event. Bye.